Let's go through the offline installation of drivers and firmware packages on OpenBSD. The offline firmware installation is useful when the stock install doesn't recognize your Wi-Fi or network card, in which you run into the famous chicken and egg problem, meaning that to install your Wi-Fi driver you need to connect to the internet, but your Wi-Fi card is not detected due to the missing driver. That's where the offline firmware installation comes very handy. To do that, you need to either have an extra device or an alternative operating system with a USB stick. First, format your USB stick on OpenBSD. If you don't know how to use USB stick on OpenBSD and about the formatting, mounting, unmounting, you can just watch my previous video. I have explained everything there. Once you formatted it, go to your alternative operating system, let's say in this case Linux, and to open your browser, head to the firmware.openbsd.org. Select the OpenBSD version you have installed, in my case it's 7.1, then download all these firmware files. If you are using Linux or macOS, you can actually speed up this process using wget command. So let me show you quickly. So I'm going to create a directory here called fw. I'll go here, wget dash r dash dash no parent and then pass the url it will recursively download all the files in this current directory once you have all the files downloaded copy them to your usb stick and then mount it on your openbsd machine then cd to the directory where the firmware files exist for example in my case would be this one 71 and this is the all the firmware files now the next step is to do verification of the packages to ensure that they are, haven't been tampered. So for that one, SHA-256-C and then we pass the signature file. As you can see, it has verified all the files. One is missing and that is the public key, which is not important, but the firmware files are, on, uh, are intact. Just before jumping to the installation process, I'm going to quickly disconnect myself from the internet and also remove a firmware package and then try to install it offline so you have a better understanding of the process. So let me close the browser, we don't need it. So now I don't have access to the internet anymore. If I ping Google, I get nothing. And also if I do FW updates, it gives me an error, as you can see. So let me remove a firmware file. So I'm just going to delete VMM. All right. And now if I want to install the firmware files offline, so I can say do as FW updates, pass the P switch and specify the path where the firmware file exists. In my case would be the current path so I pass dot and now it has installed VMM automatically no firmware files have been updated and these drivers slash firmware have been kept as is so that's all for this video as always don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to the channel have a great time cheers